So the next step is to configure our Django REST framework project for Elastic Beanstalk deployment. And in order to achieve that, first thing first, we need to have an AWS account. So if you don't have an account or you're not signed up with AWS, I suggest you go and to the AWS website and sign up and then you can follow up with me. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And now that I'm in um, the AWS website, so I need to go to services and either look here for Elastic Beanstalk like this, or if you already used it before, it's going to show on the recent services. Okay. So after going to Elastic Beanstalk console, You'll see this dashboard here is where we can monitor and configure our deployed project. But before we get to this stage, we need to deploy and create an environment for our project uh, on Elastic Beanstalk service. So in order to do that, there's a few requirements. So I'm going to go to the documentation of, of AWS. Uh, for deploying Django application with Elastic Bean stock. So as you see here, in the deploying a Django application to Elastic Bean stock, if you look at the requirements, we need a Python 3.6 or later, which we have. We need pip, virtual environment, and AWS CLI. So we already have most of the requirements, we just need to install AWS EP CLI, which is AWS Elastic Bean CLIs. So if we go to uh, their guide for installing it, we can see it's pretty simple to install it. So we just need to use pip install AWS EB CLI. And if we go to our um, project, so let's install it first inside our virtual environment. And then we can deactivate our virtual environment and install it globally. Okay, so I'm going to run pip install AWS CLI. And now that this done, uh, we need to go back to the documentation. And if you go step by step here with the documentation, you will see let's most of these steps we've done already, like creating a virtual environment, activating it, uh, installing Django, creating a Django project, um, and also uh, starting a project and running the server, making sure everything works fine. We already have all that, so we're going to skip to the configure your project application for Elastic Pin stock. And for that, we first need to activate our virtual environment, then create the requirements or add all the dependencies to requirements.txt, which we already did. And then we're going to start here from the step number three, which is creating an EB extensions folder. So let's do that now. And as you see now, I have an EB extensions folder. Inside this EB extension folder, we need to create a Django configuration file, which is Django config and add some 
configurations to it. So I'm going to create a new file here, name it Django config, and I'm going to copy the configurations from here to this file. And if you notice, this configuration is just telling the AWS Elastic Bean uh, stock where is our application's um, uh, WSGI path, okay? So we're going to change this name to our project name, which is my API. So I'm going to type my API here. And that's all. After that, if we go back to the documentations, the next step is to deactivate our virtual environment and then initialize the Elastic Beanstalk uh, CLI. So that's it guys for this tutorial. Hope you learned something new and if so, please hit the like button that helps the channel. And if you're looking forward for more content like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And until the next one.